happen. We've got Smashosaurus. Uh, Dennis just had a mental breakdown, and uh, Ray's going to help him uh, therapize himself by smashing some dinosaurs. So we're going to go into a 70-plus ghost town zone and smash five dinosaurs. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Uh, sorry about earlier. You don't need to apologize. We've all felt that way. Even you? Oh, yeah. It's one of my brain's greatest hits. Along with worry, hope, petty anger, and more recently, quiet fear. Huh. Can you, like, help me with my homework from Therapy Bot? It's like a feelings journal or something. I'm supposed to write down what I'm feeling, but I can't, like, get the words out. When I try to feel a feeling, all the other feelings get jealous or whatever and want in on the party. Okay, okay, easy, easy. I was researching methods for helping people engage with their feelings. I think you're gonna love it. I feel I will not. Trust me. Step one, we're gonna go find a dinosaur and we're gonna smash it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. That's the quest. Smash dinosaurs. <laughs> wow. Oh, this story is amazing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's it. Oh, wow. That was a tangent. All right. All right, here we go. Here's one of the dinosaurs. Nice hat, Dino. How does smashing a dinosaur make you feel? Sad, because the world now has one less dinosaur. But then catharsis, because we smashed a dinosaur. And then mad, because my dad said I'd never amount to anything. And it's like, hey old man, we just wrecked the Bronto. What did you do today? And I'll never know because I don't even know if you survived. Not that I care, but sometimes I think about it. You're doing a really good job, Dennis. I'm proud of you. Oh, wow. Dennis is a mess. <laughs> no, it's not, it's a different kind of dinosaur. It's, there's only one big dinosaur. But there are no, there is multiple dinosaurs. I, I swear there's another kind of dinosaur. And I'm just not I, I know I'm looking in the wrong spot. Obviously I have to be looking in the wrong spot. Okay, I'm gonna smash this one. Dennis! Hey! Ray told me about what's going on with all the like dino smashing and stuff, huh? Told me I should come with you. I don't know why. You just make me feel bad. I don't know why either, buddy. I have already told you both multiple times. Right. Dennis needs someone to take him under their wing, and I need to do something. I... You need to be that person. Good. You've reached the shelter. Use the terminal to run diagnostics to see what's wrong. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does specifically say in a ghost town, seventy plus ghost town for dinosaurs. Harley, no Harley. I, I, we are we know that dinosaur is there, but like, if that's the only dinosaur on the entire map, this is gonna take five matches to beat one dumb level just to kill a single dinosaur in a match. That that seems wrong to me. I, I, there has to be a second dinosaur somewhere that we're not seeing. Alright. So, I was recommended that I don't hit it with a pickaxe. They want it to be smashed in one shot. So, Migs, Smash. <laughs> okay, that, that felt pretty good. And as the good feeling is being replaced... Yeah! By Sour Empty Stomach. There it is. Whoa, hang on. What Sour Empty Stomach? I think I get that one. Um, it's like, it's like the feeling when you're up in the middle of the night and staring into the darkness and feeling like your stomach is both super rank and empty at the same time. Yeah, I've been getting that one a lot lately. I've had that my whole life, man.
All right, so there we go. We got two on the map, one down here and one up there. So the uh, Triceratopsis, or sorry, the uh, the Stegosaurus, are seem to be very consistently around the edge of the map. Um, the Brontos are usually around the middle of the map. Bam! Okay, that just reminded me. Sour, empty stomach is super similar to a feeling I had when I was a kid. It reminds me of the feeling I had in class when Mrs. Turnbuckle asked us to write about what we wanted to be when we grew up. And other kids had their answers like, on lock, right? Tony Schmidt. Boom! Veterinary supply salesman. Lisa Cellini. Bam! Disgraced former senator. Huh, that girl was specific and she did not disappoint. But when the question came up, I had like... nothing. You and me, man. It's like we live on the same shelf. So yeah, these stegosaurs are around the uh, around the edge of the map, and the brontos tend to be kind of around a city area, uh, usually in one of the towns. Uh, one sec, actually, I see a a crazy hay maze. Incoming! Return fire! And get stomped. Boom. <laughs> and there it is. it is. Yeah, there's the last one. So the Bronto, the Bronto is always in the city. He's always in a highly residential area. The uh, the Stego is always around the edge of the map. And uh, there is a bonus little toy Triceratops in one of the houses. Uh, that one is by far the hardest to find. It's uh, We found it in one of the gray houses up in the top right corner, which you can see on the minimap right now. And, uh, yeah. That is the three dinos. So, theoretically, this map this map could be done in two rounds. If you, if you were to get all three, or at least three and then two, then you could do this map in two rounds. So, how's it going, guys? What happened? I am feeling a lot of emotions right now, Ray. But Where'd he go? I'm okay. Did Yo, you hit him? Oh, pass out the donuts. My boys just had a breakthrough. And I didn't wreck it all up. Not even a little. Nice job, Anthony. We just got cured. Let's go celebrate. Oh, I know this dude who can hook us up. Spoke too soon. Terrible job, Anthony. Everyone back to base. Nope. Ray, you awake? Uh, it's noon, so, yes? I don't think I deserve to be here. Yes, Dennis, you do. Home base is full of heroes and scientists and... Straight up, I don't know what Outlanders do, but they seem good. But what do I do that matters? And don't say burgers. Dennis, you make people happy. You remind us what life was like before everything fell apart. It's more important than you think. But less important than everything else. I'm going back to bed. Okay, so Smashosaurus, uh, that was um, not so bad once you figure out what you're looking for. Uh, the dinosaurs, there's, um, I believe, four dinosaurs uh, possible to be found on a map. Two big ones, two little ones. The big one is the, the Brontosaurus, uh, or Apatosaurus. <laughs> that is, um, it's kind of in the city. It's on on display. That one's really, really easy to find. You can't miss that one. Uh, the other one is around the very edge of the map. It's the the Stegosaur. You go around the edge of the map and you'll find him right right near the very edge. And uh, he's really easy to find. And then there's two much, much harder to find uh, little ones, which are just in seemingly random buildings. So if you can find the right building, uh, you can get the extra. They're like toy dinosaurs. So they're very small. We found a toy Triceratops in one of the buildings. And... Um, yeah, so if you can find the toys, you can get the bonus. You need five dinosaurs. We uh, we found three. Three was the most that we were able to find on a map. Um, I pretty much you can guarantee that you're going to get at least two. 
so this is a two to three uh, mission map. If you can get three dinosaurs on a map, then you're going to get it done in two rounds. Uh, if not, then you're going to have to do three different rounds and uh, you'll finish it off. So pretty easy mi mission. Uh, it's uh, It can be a little frustrating at first if you don't know what you're looking for. Uh, we only knew for sure where to find the one big dinosaur because he's you know impossible to miss and you run around the city and boom, he's right there in your face. Uh, but if you didn't go around the very edge of the map, you might not have noticed the, the Stego hanging out there. Um, but if you can get those two, you basically guarantee that this is a three map mission. And if you get lucky and you find three on one round, then boom, you're going to get this done in two rounds and save yourself a little bit of uh, one extra 20 minutes. So yeah, good map, good map. Uh, the The commentary was really, really, really interesting listening to uh, the struggles of Dennis. So you guys are going to really enjoy this one. <laughs> so if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Vash. Thanks, guys.